Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's tuning in. On behalf of Pio Petro, Arab Guru, and SPE Egypt section, I would like to welcome you to today's session. My name is Shahid Bajet. I'm a third year petroleum engineering student in Kurdistan, Iraq, and I'll be your moderator for today. So before we start, I would like to remind you to please register to the appropriate Google Classroom to keep up with your homework and your quizzes. On that note, please do your homework and submit your quizzes before the deadline. As always, please keep the chat box professional and ethical, um, and please be active during this session. Interacting with us throughout the session would be much appreciated. Um, so today's session is the second session in the English Listening Enhancement course, and we have a great lineup of instructors today to guide you through it. Um, so maybe we can start by briefly introducing our instructors and to make it personal, I'll just hand the mic to them to do it. Maybe we can start with um, Sir Haas. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, my name is Haas Bilyadi. I'm a data scientist and um, I'm joining you guys from Dallas, Texas. It's about 8 a.m. right now. Hi, my name is Rahim Abubaiba and I'm a fresh graduate of University of Aberdeen. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Yusuf El Garhi, um, and I'm joining you guys from Ohio. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alexander Botezatu, and I'm a fresh graduate from University of Aberdeen, and I'm very happy to be here today. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mayar Tare, a third year Gazan Patro chemical engineer student, Alexandria University. Uh, thank you. My name is Paul Pasley. I'm a uh, professor at Marietta College, and I'm joining you from Pleasant City, Ohio today. Okay, hello, my name is uh, Fatima Dirani. I'm a PhD, I'm currently a PhD student at uh, University of Mining in St. Petersburg. Thank you. Great, thank you guys for introducing yourselves. Um, okay, just like a quick recap, the way this session works is that it is divided into a few different parts. Each part, you will be listening to a certain something, and then you will be answering a question that would be put in a poll at the end of that thing that you would be listening to. Uh, so the participants are going to answer the poll. And then after that, after we will see the results and we'll go to, the, to our instructors and like hear their thoughts. And yeah, I think we can start. So the first part is the video part. And here's video number one. Hi, my name is Betsy, and I'm the director of the Career Center. The Career Center is located in Upper Gilman between the bookstore and Red Brick Barbecue. You should definitely start visiting the Career Center in your freshman year. You will get involved in Handshake, which is the on-campus career management system that we use for on-campus student jobs, internships, off-campus jobs, volunteer opportunities, fellowships, graduate school, any kind of meaningful experience that you want to have as a part of your Marietta college education. What we know here at Marietta is that we are explorers and so we think it is valid for you to get started in that freshman year exploring career possibilities. You may know what your major is, you may not know what your major is, but what I can tell you for certain is that the long blue line is here to support you in your endeavors and wants to get involved and we've got this whole series called Connected and it's alums from all over the country who want to talk to you about where they were, what they do, how they use that liberal arts education to benefit their own career success. And they want to meet with you. They want to mentor you. So we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And welcome to Marietta College. OK, now that we saw the video, uh, the questions are the same, we can answer them again. So yeah, uh, the first question, it is, what is the job position of the lady talking in the video? A, the director of the Career Center, B, the provost of Marietta College, C, a professor at Marietta College. The second question, uh, Miss Betsy advises the students if they want to find an internship, they should A, visit the provost office, B, check LinkedIn, C, visit the Career Center. And the results are in. So A uh, wins with 56% for the quiz first question. And then C wins with 85% for the second question. Um, I think we can go to the instructors now. 
Yeah, I agree with uh, A is the, this, this time it was clear. So he's a director of the Career Center. Um, and then uh, as far as question number two, uh, for any kind of internship opportunities, uh, you should go to the Career Center. So but I think uh, the majority of the audience got it right. Yeah, I would also agree with uh, both sides of the, uh, both of um, the majority of the audience. Audience, gosh. Um, Maybe we can hear a few more responses and then we'll move on to the next part. So I don't know if it was just me, but the video was still a little choppy that time, but I could hear all of the audio that time. And so, yes, at the beginning, she does state that she is the director of the Career Center. So I agree with that. And uh, then her advice, yes, is to visit the Career Center. Yes, yes, I agree with the both answers. Mm -hmm. I also agree with the audience. <laughs> Great. Uh, now we're going to move to the second video. So yeah, let's watch, watch it to the, together. Sorry. <laughs> Over spring break, I went with um, MedLife and we were actually in Lima, Peru. And we kept getting all these emails about class and that's like the very first time we ever heard like the colleges, you know, classes are moved online. And at first it was crazy because we were just, we were still there. And so it really didn't hit us like, like it might've hit here, like there, we were just still kind of pretty calm and like, you know, oh, we'll figure it out. We just went with it. But it, things got really hectic on the trap, like traveling back. I just remember feeling feeling like very overwhelmed and like never expected it to happen and trying to get back home and like like we made it back just in time which is great and like I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Who can I call? Now I'm like finding myself wishing that I was back being busy because yeah, that meant that. that people were around and like I could go and see people and walk outside and walk to class and all that stuff. It feels worse being like lonely than being busy, and I thought that it would be different. But now that it's actually happened, like I can definitely see that I'd want it the other way. Like I want it back to normal, I guess. Normal being like rushing and you know going everywhere every day. And great, that was the second video, and the questions are going to be, so the first question is, what is the student's major? A, education, B, health science, C, petroleum engineering. And the second question is, the student was describing her experience with the tuition remission process at Marietta College, and it is a yes or no question. So yeah, let's see what the audience thinks. And the results are in. So health science wins by 50% for the first question. And the second question, yes, wins by 75%. Um, let's see what our instructors think. I think I must disagree with the audience on the second question. I think she was uh, discussing her experience with um, last spring being told that we were going to online courses. Yeah, yeah, the second question is, uh, the answer is no, because she was describing her experience with the online classes and how the uh, pandemic uh, changed all, uh, her all uh, educational experience. Yeah, that's true, because on the, on the, in like most of the, th I, she was just describing how much, I guess she wanted to uh, be busy, then go, then uh, lonely, and um and describing her experiences from uh, everything that's happened. Yeah, I would also have to agree. Uh, first question, um, health science is the correct choice. The second question, um, no would be the correct choice. Um, she was just describing, as Yusuf said, um, how she misses the, the old days, basically. Um, before the pandemic started and uh, being busy, uh, you know, and rushing to places. Uh, and it, it, it did not talk about tuition at all. Uh, yes, the first question, uh, I think it uh, 
health science. And the second question is for sure no. She's not talking uh, about her experience with the tradition, of course. Great. Um, I guess we can move on to the next part. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say it out there, like this is my favorite part. I'm really biased towards it. So it is the song challenge part and we will be listening to a song and answering a question regarding that song. So I took a peek, I know what's coming. I love the song, um, enjoy it.
Okay, so that was Hotel California by Eagles. I hope you paid attention to the lyrics because the questions are on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. This is the intro of the song. So it's a yes or no question. And then the second question is, there is no plenty of room at the Hotel California. Again, this is a yes or no question. So yeah, let's see what the audience thinks. And the results are in. So uh, the first question, yes, wins by 77%. And for the second question, no wins by 59%. Um, let's see what our instructors uh, think. I'll chime cool. in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, think... I'll chime in and say that's correct. Num number one is, is a yes. Uh, and number two, uh, there, 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 like there are plenty of rooms in Hotel California, so no is the correct answer, um, as the audience, have, as the majority of the audience have predicted. Yeah, I also would say yes for the first question because it was I think I think this part was in the beginning of the song, and then the second one uh, there's no plenty. There is plenty of room, so I would go for no for the second one. Yeah, I agree with the majority on both ones in the beginning. Um, that was the intro of the song, and th there, there, at least there should be plenty of room in Hotel California, so I gr agree with no. So do I. I, I see that the, the audience uh, uh, anticipated right. Um, the intro was uh, on a dark desert highway, cool wind, uh, as I remember. Yes, I know this song very well, and that first line is a very famous first line. So yes, that is correct for uh, number one. And for number two, most audience was right on that. There are plenty of rooms available in the hotel. Uh, I also totally agree with our majority of audience and instructors because uh, the first question was uh, totally correct. Uh, and the second one, you can find any time of the year. <laughs> so, yeah.